Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We give you praise. All we have to say is thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love, Jesus. Thank you for your hand already on this year. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. You are good. Your mercy is dear forever. You are good. Your mercy is dear forever. You are good. Your mercy is dear forever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this year of reputable glory. Year of news worthy glory. Year of profound glory. Thank you, Jesus. Year of significant glory. We give you praise, Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. And the people of Jesus said, Amen. Amen. Good morning. Thank you, Lord. It's the first day of the second month of the year of reputable glory. We thank God the year is already rolling by. I want to encourage you and remind you what God said He would do. He has actually already done. So the process, the machinery is already in motion. It's so important we remember that whatever God will do, He has already done. So the ball is in your court and in my court. Whatever we will do, let's do it quick. All the things that we have been learning about maximizing this year, let's go ahead and begin to take advantage of them. Do not procrastinate. Do not procrastinate. Do not procrastinate. Praise the Lord. Okay, so you are welcome to today's edition of Conform, our online daily devotional in which we sit at the feet of Jesus. She will help us become more and more like him. Praise the Lord. All right, this morning I want us to go back to ministry lessons from Jesus. Ministry lessons, life lessons, leadership lessons from Jesus. And um, I, today I want us to talk on discipleship and apprenticeship. We saw Jesus practice discipleship and apprenticeship and he encouraged us. He said, go into all the world and preach the gospel and make disciples of all nations. It is disciples that Jesus asks us to go back, not only converts, disciples, not only converts, disciples. Who are disciples? Disciples are committed, sold out, well-trained, disciplined followers of a course. Committed, sold out, no holds back, disciplined followers of a uh, followers of a course. That's who disciples are. Disciples are not people who have just um, uh, who have just heard the gospel and um, um, okay they go to church no that's not this that those are not disciples in church there are different categories of people there are pure unbelievers there are people who come to laugh at the process at what is happening 
there are people who came there because um, somebody forced them to come there are also people who are born again they are converts but that's where it stops they are converts but that's where it stops and then there are disciples disciples disciplined committed sold out no holds back followers of christ and then of course it's from this lot that we have this uh, ministers and all that jesus sent us to go make disciples go into all the world and make disciples of all nations disciples of of all nations okay matter to disciple matured followers okay and um, that's very important now one of the things that discipleship involves is apprenticeship apprenticeship by apprenticeship i mean one on one follow up one on one follow up one on one spiritual and ministerial mentoring one on one ministerial and spiritual parenting of people that God bring under us spiritually okay i just wanted to encourage us this morning if we were to get right what jesus said we must we must um we must step up I like what they are doing in hype where they have mentors and they are you know um trying to parent and mentor those children that's fantastic okay so that's what I came to encourage everyone learning today or listening today your your job in the house of God involves ed- every duty apprentice apprenticeship every duty apprenticizing of all the younger people in church it's so very important it's so very important and we can't always wait for the system to create it it's something you need to know in, the, in your mind and then you by yourself on your own you take on people under your under your wings and you begin to disciple them you begin to disciple them discipleship is powerful we saw jesus do it jesus went out he wants us and then he brought them not everybody that jesus uh, uh, um, um, that got converted under the ministry of jesus were referred to as disciples there were multitudes there were disciples and then there were the apostles the the, the more closely he brought them under his swings to mentor them that is what um um divided them into those different groups are you still here okay moses did it in fact that was the first thing that god asked him to do go down to egypt aaron is waiting for you there joshua is waiting for you there these will be your 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 they will be your disciples discipleship is is very important it's very, we'll look at the reason why it's important Elijah did it. Elijah did it. The Bible says God instructed him to go to the uh, village of Elisha. Elisha was a farmer. And then he cast his robe on, on him and all that. And then he, the man followed him. And he mentored that young man. He mentored that young man. It's so important. You and I must be effective in bringing young people under and mentoring them. Our relationship with all these young people that God is bringing should not only be um, um, maybe professional, or we encourage them to go to school, or we're, we're, no, or we're encouraging them to to rise up in their careers. No, it must involve discipling them, mentoring them spiritually, so that they are able to stand. So that they are able to stand. Okay, we saw Aquila and Priscilla do the same. Aquila, they, they, they met that young man, Apollos. Bible says he was already well instructed and vast in the scriptures. But he knew only the, uh, the baptism of John. 
another was he was a john the baptist expert he, he was living in the old testament and the bible said they took him aside discipleship must involve taking those young people aside okay it's very important opening our our giving them access into us or maybe opening our houses to them let them come in from time to time anything you can do to bring them closer to you so you can more properly and accurately impart them it's so very important it's so important okay barnabas did it for paul barnabas did it barnabas went down to sartasus to seek paul in, in the first place it was one who took him by the hand and took him to the disciple and said you guys stop fearing this guy he's already he's genuinely converted now and when Paul would get discouraged because the people didn't want to receive him, the Bible says he went down to 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 Tarsus to seek him out, and then they were traveling around all together until God uh, announced two of them as ministry partners. Ah, apprenticeship is important. We are going to be talking more and more about it in Eston Church. But this morning, I just want to encourage somebody because I know many of our leaders in the uh, Esther Ministerial College are listening here. And then some other church members are also listening here. Listen to me. You need to be able to see it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, whatever. All these many people are my disciples. The, all the people I am discipling. These are my mentees, spiritual mentees. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Very important. Very important. Okay? So what are the, the, the benefits of our spiritual parenting or apprentice, apprenticeship? What are they? Um, number one, it ensures impartation. It, it ensures more powerful impartation. Because proximity is the close to is the is the key to impact. Proximity is the key to impact. It ensures more more powerful impartation. Glory to Jesus. In Romans chapter twelve, um, Hallelujah! Praise God. One minute. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Proximity is the, is the key to impact. If we don't bring them under our wings, we will not be able to impart them. We will not be able to impart them. Romans 1.11 is what I'm looking for. It says, For I long to see you that I may impart. This is Paul talking. He was writing to the Romans. He said, I long to see you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gifts to the end that you may be established. I long to see you so that I can come and impart to you people some spiritual gifts so that at the end of the day you will be more established, you will be more solid in the things of God. Praise the Lord. So discipleship, apprenticeship, okay, um, it ensures, um, it ensures more effective impartation and in fact impart more effective impartation in turn will ensure spiritual establishment the person will be able to stand the person will be, will be solid in the ground glory to jesus i said glory to jesus the person also will be uh, will be well instructed and because they are well instructed they will be more effective they will be more effective in doing the 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 in, in preaching the gospel, in being useful in the house of God, in serving God. They will be more effective because they have been well impacted. Discipleship is almost uh, um, uh, fading away in the church, but we have to bring it back. We have to bring it back. We have to bring it back. What else would discipleship do to ensure? 
that the gifts, the talents, the callings, and the whatever the people, the mentees have, that they are well harnessed. It will ensure that the mentee is well harnessed. Their, their, their giftings will come out. The, whatever it is they have will, will, will be able to, to, to be well harnessed. In other words, they will be well maximized. But if we don't take them under our wings to, to know them better, to school them better, to educate them better, to impart them better, we will not be able to do that. Discipleship is powerful. Discipleship is powerful. Okay? Uh, um, uh, this is what I want us to talk for the next few days. We're going to talk about it. And I believe, God, as you are hearing it, I want you to begin to think about it. Do you have any persons that you, you, that you share this kind of relationship with in the body of Christ? And if you are at least two years two years old in the Lord, you should have disciples. Even one year old in the Lord, you should have your own disciples. People you have reached out to, or people who were reached out to others, and then they came newly into the church, and you connected with them, and you are following them up, passing one-on-one, one-on-one attention. One on one attention, you are bringing them up, you are calling them, you are creating a relationship with them, and they are wondering why is this a big person or this uh, older person or this more sophisticated person? Why are they interested in me? Before you know it, you have entered into them. You have entered into them. It's so very important we do this. It's important we do this. And as we do it, God will help us. This year, of um, reputable glory do not forget mission is a key i will share that on sunday mission sir is a key main key to unleashing the the wealth transfer that has come mission mission orientation mission act uh, mission mission activity being mission active being involved actively involved in mission is a major key to unleashing the wealth transfer. It is, sir. It is. It's so important that we we release ourselves and push ourselves to get involved with missions. Discipleship is the heart of missions, sir. Because those younger people, you don't know when you, nobody knows where they will meet themselves tomorrow or next tomorrow, where God will fling them to. It may be one corner of Australia where they don't know God. Or in one corner, you know, uh, one of my sister in laws traveled recently to somewhere in Wales. She went to do a master's in Wales. And she was saying how that, <laughs> so I asked her, how church for that side? Uh, you know, she was just saying how that um, um, she doesn't really know, but that there's work to do. That's how she put it. There's ministry work to do here. There's ministry work to do here. When you go to all those old, very, uh, places, so-called civilized places, you find out they don't know God. Uh, somebody said um, uh, where, she, where he lives in Italy, that you have to travel, listen to this, you have to travel something like from here, that's from, let's say, Lupeju, to a place like Shagamu to get a living church. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. So we have churches all over here. Doesn't mean that there's not no work to do. Okay? So how did I get into that? When we impart those young people, you don't know where God will scatter them to tomorrow. Okay, where God is deliberately pushing out people to diaspora to be able to reach those people. So let's take advantage of their presence with us and, and impart them and touch them, truly touch them, so that where they go, they can continue to bear the banner of the Lord Jesus. God will help you as you seek to do that in the name of the Lord Jesus. Listen, you have something to point to that young person. There's something you have that you can point to that person. And as you do it, Jesus will empower you. Don't forget, expect wealth this year. 
expect the favor, expect the impartation, expect the, the ideas, expect the connections for it, expect the networks for it in the name of Jesus. This is the best week you have ever lived. It is the week of the greatest week of increase that you have ever encountered in the name of the Lord Jesus. Have a brilliant week. Violence is far from you. Pestilence not your portion in the name of Jesus. Corona will not touch you. Neither will COVID know your address in Jesus' name. And the people of Jesus said, Amen.